Hi, how are you? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting piece of camera history. And I'm not talking about the object that you see on the left, although this is the Ricoflex Model 7 uh, Twin Lens Reflex Camera, and it's a very excellent camera, one of my favorite medium format cameras, in fact. But this video is not about the camera. The video is going to be about an accessory that was intended for this camera, and it was called the Ricoflex Color Back. Uh, for those of you who are into cameras, you know that medium format is a specific size of film. Uh, it, was, it came in a spool, and rather than having uh, a 35 millimeter cartridge, prior to that, people would often use what was called a 120 spool. As you can see now on the screen, this is a 120 spool of film and what they typically look like. And you can still buy these rolls of film in color and black and white, and you can still get them developed nowadays. And this Ricoflex Model 7 takes those 120 size spools of film. Now, along the way, Ricoflex became quite aware of the fact that 35 millimeter was coming was becoming very, very popular, especially in the latter part of the 50s and into the 60s. So they realized that maybe people would want to use 35 millimeter cartridges in their Ricoflex cameras. So they came up with this accessory which would allow them to adapt to the 35 millimeter film size. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll just take a look here. So basically to load film into this camera, I basically flip this little switch on the bottom here, open up the back door, and I'm going to pull out this carriage. And that was typically what you would use when you wanted to put in 120 roll film. The, as you can see, actually here is an empty spool. So when I mentioned that the, the film came on a spool, that's what it looked like. This was a 120 size film spool. And you'd put your film on the bottom there. You'd feed it up over the back and there'd be another take up spool on the top here. And as you would wind your film, it would be collected on the take up spool. Then when you were done taking your photos, you would take out that spool of film and take it to someone to be developed and processed. Now, I'm going to take this and put it away and show you this accessory called the color back. And again, this was intended so that you'd be able to put uh, 35 millimeter spools in the Ricoflex camera. And that's basically what it looks like. Very interesting device. Looks kind of similar to the carriage that I showed you that I took out of the camera, but not exactly the same. So as you can see on the bottom here, Down here you would put your spool of 35 millimeter film. You'd feed it through the back. There's a plate here that moves. I just put a little piece of scotch tape there to kind of secure it. But you would feed your 35 millimeter film up through there, then close the plate. And there'd be, again, a take up cartridge that would take up the film as you were advancing it through the camera and taking your photos. So you'd basically put your 35 millimeter film here, so feed it up through the back and let it collect into the take-up cartridge at the top. Once you had it loaded, you would basically take your camera, open up the back, insert this color back into the back of the camera. Oops, I have it in upside down. So you'd put it in like this. And you'll see this is the film advance dial right here. So you'd have to make sure that this was engaging with the take up spool that would be in here. So basically I'd move that, move it around a bit until I feel that it's engaged with the film and then that's it. So basically I would have it all loaded and it would be ready to take pictures on 35 millimeter film, just like that. So as you can see, uh, it was a very inventive and creative way that Ricoflex came up with for adapting their cameras to take 35 millimeter film. They just came up with this simple device called the Color Back, and you'd be able to use either black and white or color 35 millimeter film in your camera. 
Now these are called TLR cameras or twin lens reflex cameras and of course it's very obvious why it's called twin lens reflex because it has two lenses and just so you know the top lens would be the viewing lens so this would be for simply looking at and framing your picture and this bottom lens was the lens that actually took the photo so you would open up the top of the camera like that and you would look down through here to frame your photo and get it all in focus and again that was all being done through this top lens here and when you were ready you would take your photo and again the photo would be taken with the bottom lens here to prime the lens you see there's a little switch on the bottom here I just move that up until I hear that click and that means it's ready to take a photo when I've got the photo all framed and in focus and I have this I just take the photo by clicking here just like that and then I will take the film advance knob and move it forward until I see the next number on the film and you can see there's a little window here I open that up and through that little red window I can see the back of the film there was uh, protective paper on the back of the spool of film and as you would advance you would see the numbers on the back of the film so you would see you you took shot number one and then you would advance it until you saw the two to take shot number two so a really nice little camera and again very uh, useful if you have the color back because again you could use 35 millimeter film in a 120 camera uh, I think I paid less than $100 for the camera and for the color back I think I may have paid about 50 to 60 dollars so not bad at all a good investment for a photography enthusiast like myself and I think I found both on eBay uh, these cameras pop up now and then on eBay they're not super rare you do see them from time to time the color back though is much more uh, unusual and much more rare uh, I've only seen them pop up on eBay a couple of times so I was very lucky to be able to purchase one so that's my little review of the Ricoflex color back certainly a very interesting uh, artifact from days of photography past Thank you for watching the video. I hope you can join us again next time. Please give us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I post new tech videos every week, and the best way to know when new videos are posted is to subscribe. So I hope you can join us again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.